This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Fembi, the capital of Moheli in the Comoros, is almost empty after being hit with COVID-19 restrictions. Traffic is fleet and there is hardly any taxi in operation. The Fembi prosecutor's office has been shot after three magistrates there tested positive for the coronavirus. The Ministry of Justice has suspended cases for a week to prevent the spread of the virus. 376 cases were recorded on Saturday, including eight deaths. The government is urging the Comorian people to observe COVID-19 measures to stem the spread of the virus. Comoros has been receiving help with COVID-19 from its diaspora community. Uganda's tourism sector is grappling with the ardent economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Jinja, one of the country's tourist hubs, is under threat by the construction of the Izimba hydropower dam, leading to the relocation and closure of some tourist services and activities, such as rafting, have been heavily impacted. Both tourism and hospitality players in the city have de devised ways to get around the situation, especially with the increase in domestic tourism within the region. More than 46,000 Ugandans working in the tourism sector lost their jobs last year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi continued his five-nation African tour as he visited Tanzania, where he met with President John Magufuli on Friday. During the meeting in Chato, Wang and Magufuli discussed bilateral cooperation. The Tanzanian president said the Chinese people have always been good friends and brothers of the Tanzanian people and that Tanzania is deeply grateful for the help provided by the Chinese people in its struggle for national liberation and development. He expressed Tanzania's willingness to continue to stand firmly with China on all issues involving its core interests and major concerns. Magufuli said Tanzania is ready to become the gateway for Chinese enterprises to explore the eastern and southern African market and join hands with the China to usher in a new era of common development between the two countries. For his part, Wang Yi said China and Tanzania have profound and long-standing traditional friendship, which is the precious treasure of both countries and should be cherished, carried forward and continuously injected with new connotation of the era. That is ANN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi. <laughs>